and a very good morning to you who's just clicked on this video. Firstly, going to start the vlog with a thank you for clicking. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I've woken up in an exceptional mood this morning because we are in the beautiful Barakai and I could not be happier to be back here. I'm just trying to find a little spot. They've got these kind of like little bed areas here. I think I'm going to perch here for a second and start the vlog. Oh, paradise that is beautiful we're here at Hugh hotels station x stayed here a long time ago i'm really really pleased to see that this place is just as nice as we remember it's absolutely beautiful we've got the pool the sun comes in through the middle we've just had breakfast delicious breakfast buffet here they had everything had some chicken some fish some scrambled eggs some poached all different types of eggs some fresh fruit just had the most delicious pineapple but today we are gonna head out again and appreciate Barakai. if you've seen the channel before you know what to expect in these vlogs it's gonna be food it's gonna be sunshine it's gonna be swimming we're gonna get down to the beach today i'm gonna pick up a coffee in a minute but i just wanted to sit here start the vlog in this beautiful place and just welcome you to today's video let's go and see what the guys are up to so if you have not been following the channel over the last couple of weeks. We are currently traveling with Lucy's dad and stepmom, Jason and Claire, and it is their very first time in the Philippines ever. First time in Asia ever. These vlogs have been so good for us because it has given us a whole new kind of viewpoint of traveling with them and seeing like the Philippines through their eyes as well for the very first time. So it's given us a whole new kind of purpose for what we've been doing. Oh, it's a little bit loud here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Good. Wow, so we just met some uh, viewers of the channel here. And it's this guy's birthday today. Happy birthday, bro. Happy hey. birthday, 18 uh, today. Yeah, 18, 18, 18. yeah. And you guys are from Laguna, right? Yeah, San Pablo Laguna. San Pablo yeah. Laguna, shout out. Nice. We love Laguna, it's really yeah. beautiful. You have so, much, so many followers there. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. my classmates. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, oh, we wow. Watch you. We oh. watch you every time, every time we eat. Really? Lunch, yes. Oh, man, that's so good to hear. Well, thank you to everyone down in Laguna. Happy birthday. Have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, they don't want one. We are, okay, I'll meet you outside, yeah? Yeah, uh, I don't have any money. So we are about to head off to the beach. You're gonna only be able to see me like now because I've got a little bit of lighting and then I'm gonna go dark again, go into the staircase. I'm taking the stairs because I'm running ahead. Pick up a little flat white from Nonnie's. So there used to be a Little Wave coffee shop on the site here at Station X. Now there is not. That has closed down or moved or I don't really know. Um, if you know actually in the comments, please tell me because I used to love the coffee there. But I'm gonna, oh, I'm supposed to be running ahead, but they've actually just beat me down. I was saying, I'm supposed to be running ahead, but I'm not, I'm not too far ahead at the moment. So I will run ahead now and um, yeah, head to Nonnie's, which does really good coffee. I picked one up here on the first day. Yeah, surprisingly good. So I'm gonna grab myself a little flat white. It's only me. Lucy doesn't want one. No one else wants one. So a little solo coffee run this morning. Coffee. I'm going to edit up some photos from El Nido. It's been a little bit harder to get stuff done because we've been traveling with Jason and Claire and on top of parenting as well. It's definitely been more challenging to fit everything into the day. So we've been like working later, but we still want to go to the gym and stuff like that. So coffee waiting time is a little bit of time to get some stuff done. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Rush hour in Barakai. Hello. Um, I just wonder if you're still at the hotel or if you've gone to the beach already. Did I get you a coffee? No. You didn't say you wanted one, did you? Yeah, but you... Uh... So, white beach in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> With quite a bit of green at the water's edge. Yeah. Once you get past it, it looks blue. Is it warm? Is it cold or is it warm? It's cold. Is it cold? So we're now on White Beach and I have to say this is the worst algae I've ever seen here. It's a bit of a shame but it still looks really beautiful sort of past the green but you can see behind me it's like a thick good few meters of like thick green algae um, before you get into like the turquoise water it's, it's seaweed yeah do you want to go in the water no 
today? Just ran back to the hotel, put my rash guard on instead, just because of the sun. A little bit of sunburn in Quran on my shoulders, my neck. My neck was a little bit tender for a couple of days, which I know will upset a lot of you. You'll be thinking of me. But um, anyway, oh, okay, all right, all right. So they were telling us at the hotel it's algae season. So you can see here, it's pretty green, a little bit green on the sand. However, if you get past it, I'm seeing some crystal clear blue water. So I'm gonna risk this $4,000 camera setup right now and walk into the water with it for you guys. Oh wow, there's loads of little fish. Okay, so yeah, once we get past, <laughs> it looks so green in the background right now. Once we get past this green, ah, oh, you have to really get past the green, don't you? <laughs> yeah. And then when you bring the camera this way, this is like an analogy, and it's like a life lesson for us all. Go on. George, our frozen yogurt place is here. Is it really? Oh my god, yeah, wow. Pistachio sauce, yes please. We'll get on that And this tonight. is an analogy of life. Go on. You've got to get through the hard bits to reap the rewards. So you've got you to do. get through the algae and then you get the lovely beach on the other side. Yes, indeed. So keep working yes, hard, indeed. guys. Or do what we do and say, stay somewhere between the two at all times. <laughs> <laughs> but often paradise is just around the corner. Look at the contrast. And also guys, this is an analogy for so social media, you know? This could be like social media, like, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. look, I'm in the, there's no one around, there's one person in the, in the sea. But then you look the other side behind the camera, Out it's here. green and there's millions Ooh. of tourists. But anyway, I don't feel that comfortable with this camera yeah. in this water. Oh, it is a little bit. <laughs> just getting past that. Uh, yeah, I noticed you stopped that, filming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez, that's cold. Just past that uh, manly threshold. It is, yes, we say. the manly threshold. Yeah. <laughs> How the are you finding this? this? A little chilly in us, it, it is, but it is it? early in the day. Yeah, I yeah. I dare say at the end of the day when it's had the sun baking it all day, it's warmer. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame about the algae, but when you get past that, there's yeah. a lot of fish, and it is, as promised, <laughs> blue water, white sand. Yeah. It's a long beach, isn't it? It's vast, isn't it? It it's really like is. To the horizon in yeah. that direction, almost to the horizon. Yeah, that way. yeah. It's extraordinary. Yeah, it's got. I actually do like sitting here and looking back. Yeah, that way. yeah, I'll just stand here looking that way myself. I mean, having said that, there's power ascending, there's all sorts going on out there as well. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a lot to see. Amazing. Need something to float in and just a beer, probably. <laughs> yeah. Although it is only half ten. A couple of Sam McLights. So. Yes. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere, as they say. It is. <laughs> <laughs> when we were planning this trip with Jason and Claire, Brackeye was the place on the list. There was like absolutely no doubt about it. Like some others, we were like, we could do this or this but Barakai was always firmly on the list and for good reason, you have to see it. If you come to the Philippines, whether you like like more touristy places or whether you're kind of a uh, traveler who likes to find the quiet locations, I think you should still see it here. I think you should still come here. Same with Palawan, you have to see Palawan. I remember talking to someone before I quit my job, a guy called Lewis Burns Allen that I used to work with. And he, he, when I first told him I was starting to go traveling, he was saying, oh, you're going to the Philippines. Wow, I went to the Philippines. I think it was like late 80s, early 90s, something like that. He was like, oh, you have to go to Palawan. You have to go. He said, it's like pristine. No one knows about it. There's no one there. Um, and this was like in his time when he went, when tourists like from the UK just didn't know about it. There's no social media. There's no vlogs. There's no YouTube, no internet. And he was like, trust me, George, Palawan is the one. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll write that down. I remember writing it down in my little notebook. And uh, yeah, obviously the last couple of, days and weeks we've been in Palawan but now of course in the beautiful Barakai. Yep. It's very different with the algae. I feel a tiny bit disappointed that the algae's here. It's nothing that we can change. Did you say you liked the beaches then on camera? Yeah, I said loved it. He said how vast it was and Yeah. He said he, th he feels like he's seen better beaches because this one's in a won awards. I think he was expecting it to be like top of the list. I was trying to explain to him without the algae it's like very breathtaking just seeing the blue going out to sea. It definitely looks different with the green but once you're past the algae it's still really beautiful and it's just quite like a cool thing to see like all these shops along a beach just straight into the water and There's i'm glad we're of, showing it to them we've, we've done quite well your planning of this trip has been impeccable incredible. it has Thank been because so we've too. had that <laughs> you know the first beach in quran was just like resort pristine. island life and i'm glad yeah. they've seen that yeah. like that's in the bank and then we had el nida like party-ish but then it was like the island hopping there was really good and then here we're seeing like a contrast of the two you've got like a really beautiful beach on your doorstep but it's also got the like super touristy side with the shops and people selling stuff so like I think we're seeing everything. But where we're going next, it's another city and it's another beautiful resort. So it's like, I think we're seeing everything. So we're seeing like two cities, two different resort places, two different beachy places. It's, it's a lot, but I think it's going well so far. And I think they're having a really good time. And um, they said last night when they got down, it's not what they expected. They didn't expect the beach to be as busy. They didn't expect it to be as big and as built up here, like the roads and the pavements, all the work they've been putting into this place to make it more built up is definitely showing. And um, yeah, they definitely weren't expecting that to be the case. I think they thought it would be a bit more remote and a bit quieter, which obviously if you know Barakai, it is not either of those two things. Well, that's the other thing. We um, didn't 
tell them we like tell them what, to what to expect on any of these places. We just said where we're they've, staying, some food we might eat, and it's got a beach. Yeah, that was they've it. gone in blind on all of these. Yeah, which is quite cool, I think. Are you swimming? How is how is it? <laughs> so we are having a little bit more of a slower relaxed day after what has felt like a couple of travel days. We only had two nights in El Nido and the flight, that flight, even though it was 25 minutes, that day felt quite long. Yesterday felt quite long because of the delays, even though it was only an hour's flight. So today we're just on the beach, bought a coconut. They wanted 150, got them down to 100, which I think is reasonable. Would you like some? All right, keeping hydrated. Straight off the trees here as well, so nice and natural. Claire's sunbathing, or shade bathing at the moment, but <laughs> the sun's been in and out. How are you finding Varakai Beach? It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to get out into the water. Yes. Having a rest Saying you, you get past the green and then you're good. It's like being back in Quran. <laughs> get past the green. Yes. I was saying to Lucy, we didn't really tell you what to expect anywhere. So it's, it's good. yeah, so you're like going it's in blind. Reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is probably, I mean, El Nido is busy, but in a different way. Yeah. I think this is so vast, but almost a little bit more chilled, a little bit more laid back. And obviously it's all about the beach. Yes, well. yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. Hello. Good day. Good day. Very nice though, very nice. I think the cell, would you agree the cellars are a little bit less intense this time? Way less intense. They are. So I remember being quite overwhelmed last time when we were here. Yeah. Uh, maybe because we only took a day trip to this beach when we were staying on another part of the island. Maybe it's different because, I don't know, like it, it's such a contrast. Well, but being here, it doesn't feel too pushy at Also, all. we were here just after the pandemic kind of lifted. And obviously the locals here like lost a lot of income and money. So they, it felt like on one of the trips we came on, the, they were extra kind of pushy and we were getting approached like one after another. But that seems to have died down a little bit. It was the island shutting down for the big cleanup and then the pandemic back yeah, to back. Yeah, they had like a double hit. Yeah. Have you had this Elizabeth? I've had a few sips. Yeah. Claire just probably finished it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what my hair's doing. It's all a bit windy, but just heading back to the hotel now. It's just gone midday, it's around one o'clock, I think. We're heading back because Coda needs a little nap, and I feel like we've been in the sun for quite a few hours just then, so I'm getting one of those headaches where it's like, it's a bit bright and squinty. So we're gonna go back for a bit, get a bit of editing done in the hotel room, cool down, maybe use the pool at the hotel, um, and then head back out again later for another sea time, bit of sunset, some dinner. That's the plan for today, but um, had a really lovely morning down on the beach. Coda loves it, and actually the seaweed's been quite fun for him. He's been like playing with it. So all good. Yeah, just heading back over there now. Loads of little shops here, um, but the prices are really cheap. So there's like t-shirts and vests and stuff with Barakai on and like islandy things. And they're like 100 pesos, like not much at all, um, which surprised me. I feel like normally you'd expect it to be a touristy place. It'd be really expensive. George actually went to get some laundry done with my dad and stepmom earlier, or yesterday, we're gonna pick it up today. And we dropped it yesterday evening. She said it'd be ready at 6 a.m. this morning. So we could have got it earlier than we have. And I think it was like 230 pesos for like a massive bag, like a really, really big bag of laundry. Maybe around 10 kilograms, I didn't weigh it. But that, I think in BDC, or even like some of the smaller provinces we've been to when we get laundry done, I always feel like we're spending about a thousand for express laundry, because they always double it. They haven't doubled it here, and it's already cheaper. So um, price-wise, I feel like Barakai is cheaper than I thought it would be, but El Nido is very expensive. And I think, I might be wrong saying this, but I think, from what I've observed, let me know if I'm wrong, but I feel like Barakai is somewhere that Filipinos travel from Manila or different places. Like we met some people from Laguna. It's more like local prices here because there's less foreign tourists. There are still lots of foreign tourists here, but less than in El Nido. I feel like El Nido and Caron are much more, thank you, are much more, um, hey. El Nido and Caron are much more popular with the um, foreigners. Again, might be wrong saying that, but just from literally being in both places very recently back to back, 
that's what I've noticed. So yeah, let me know if you agree in the comments, but maybe that's why, I'm not sure. But yeah, these are the shops, I mean, it's, it's really not expensive at all. And they've got like little t-shirts, loads of like the classic shell necklaces. I actually think I got this from here last time we were here, I can't remember. This one's, yeah, I think I got both here last time we were here. My anklets from Bali, I know that. But um, these shell necklaces are very popular and they're just everywhere. And then like phone cases and snorkeling stuff, buckets and spades. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they're like handbags and goggles, literally everything. So um, if you need souvenirs, look, yeah, look here. So five pieces of these wallets for 100 pesos. Five wallets for 100 pesos. That's nothing. That's like pound thirty or something for five wallets, not one, five. So if you're getting maybe souvenirs for someone, quite a good option. Little wallet with Barakai on a little sunset picture. Very cheap prices. Here we are back at base. Great location, Hugh Hotels, I have to say. It's really nice just being like right in the centre, staying right in the centre. Everything's on our doorstep, literally, and the beach is like a three minute walk away, so that's great. Hi, is it this one upstairs? Can I see the price? Maybe for later, I'll just take a picture. Thank you. Thank you. So, 700 pesos there for one hour Swedish. Very good price. Um, it's been cheaper in other places, it's been more in other places. Ah, George is that way. I think George. He's going in the pool with Coda quickly because he promised him a quick dip in the pool um, to convince him to get off the beach. This boy loves water, I swear. He's like so drawn to water. He's an Aquarius actually, so maybe that's why, a water sign. There's no one in the pool. It's totally empty. Did not expect that. It's empty. Hi, how are you? There's no one in the pool. Oh yeah, it's too hot. Where is everyone? Guys, get out of your rooms and get in the pool. It's lovely. Grandpa's, I don't drink any, will you? Oh. Hayden, hey, what are you doing? Drinking grandpa's. Yeah. What? Cheeky. Um. You bit me into the straw off. It's chocolate. Yes. thank today's video sponsor which is Fume. Many people have bad habits. It's a part of life for so many people. Sometimes the best way to get rid of a bad habit is to replace it with a good habit. And this is what Fume are doing with their flavoured air device. Now this may look just like other devices that you're familiar with. However, instead of electronics, this is completely natural. Instead of vapour, Fume uses flavoured air. You get these cores which go inside, all different flavours. Crisp mint, raspberry lemon, maple pepper, maple pepper, and many more. You can adjust the air airflow by a twist. It actually makes a really nice noise. You can also get this heavyweight stand which you can place your device on when you're not using it. So stopping a bad habit is something that a lot of people put off which is why Fume innovated their award-winning flavoured air device. If this resonates with you, you can join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. You can head to tryfume.com that's tryfum.com slash juicy and use code juicy to get 10% off. A big thanks to Fume for sponsoring today's vlog and for helping people break those bad habits. Down here for the second Barakai sunset of the trip. We can enjoy it a little bit more tonight, feeling more rested, a bit more calm. Didn't travel today, just had a very nice relaxed day. Oh, I didn't vlog it, but these guys all went to Jollibee, filmed a video. Yeah. How? You enjoyed it? Oh, yes. I hear that you really enjoyed it. Don't listen to the reaction yet. Go and watch the video because it's out next. This one's out first. Oh, really? Okay. So don't so say too much. The video's coming Suspense. soon. <laughs> we haven't been to Jollibee yet. We're going tomorrow. <laughs> But yeah, but uh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I think they liked it. So yeah, I also had four pieces of chicken joy that I ate around the pool, which was very, very nice indeed. I think sunset's better tonight. Yeah? It feels more golden and the tide's up more. 
I don't know, it just feels nicer. Maybe because I'm less stressed. I just said <laughs> that. slightly stressed yesterday. I just said that, yeah. We can enjoy it more tonight after like a quite a chilled day. And parenting hack, we bought Coda a bucket and spade this evening. So last night he was just trying to like run as far out into the sea as he possibly could. So today we have tried to keep him occupied for a little bit longer with this, which seems to be going down well. how busy it is compared to earlier on. So, so many people walk down here for sunset and of course, why wouldn't you? But I wondered if it was gonna be this busy all day, but I guess people who come is still, I mean, a lot of people spend, wow. A lot of people spend their time on this beach, but I guess people still do island hopping and boat trips and go off to other places in the islands and obviously eat and drink in all the restaurants that are available. Thousands of options in Barakai for that. So in the daytime, not everyone is here. Also, we've noticed over the years that Filipinos tend to avoid the sun and like the midday heat, one o'clock. Um, that, I think that's the reason we were in the swimming pool all by ourselves earlier, was because that just isn't the time that most people would swim. But for us, we were like, okay, got the pool to ourselves then. And we managed to play the game, throwing the ball to each other, really, really nice. Had some mango shakes after it, as you saw. I wish I had like a really, long zoom lens to get a shot all the way down there because you can just see just how many people just how many people it looks even busier down there i've got so much sand inside my dress like you can feel it it's just everywhere someone's, someone's been uh, doing that So that was a beautiful sunset, Very really, nice. really nice. The time lapse was courtesy of Jason, so yes. thank you for that. We now are heading for dinner when we have some dinner guests this evening, don't we, we do Lucy? Indeed. We have the crew from. I don't think we told them actually. <laughs> we didn't tell them or we didn't tell them? Them or them. Do, the, do our dinner guests know that they're coming for dinner we with do. us? <laughs> All right, so let them know. <laughs> but we are seeing Christina, Brian, and they're bringing the boys? Yeah. I think they're bringing the boys. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. From the. Live in La Vida Tagalog crew, yeah. and of course, Case and Eats on Instagram. They're coming to join us for dinner this evening. We're eating at Noni's. Is it Noni's or Noni's? I've been saying Noni's. Yeah. Could be Noni's. I don't know. It's one N. <laughs> so, looking forward. Looking forward to a big meal. Oh, yeah, the police are coming down here. It's all going on. Hello, good morning, Thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Hey, okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, how are you? Sorry, how are you? How are you doing? What's good up, to man? see you, yeah, really yeah. good. How's yeah. things? Good, good, good. Enjoying your stay so far? Yeah, it's good, good man. Got a little good. bit of time today. But yeah, you know, wonderful, wonderful. That's what Baraka's about. Yeah. Koda's been very excited to see you guys. He's been looking forward to it. They've <laughs> got hair about you. Island blackout. Brown out, but it came. It went off for like half a second. What's the difference it came back between on. a brown out and a blackout? Brown out is just part. I don't know. I actually don't know. Don't touch darling. Let's watch it. I think I've had too many flat whites from their coffee machine today. Yeah. Because, because <laughs> You've broken the whole island. Yeah. yeah. Coffee machine's been working overtime. Cheers. 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 How's the prosecco? Oh, good, good, good. 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 Two weeks. Oh yes, <laughs> you've missed that. Oh. Is it good? Yeah. All right, wonderful. What have you got, Christina? Uh, kombucha mimosa. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Good, good choice. Kombucha, Lovely. Prosecco. Very good. Like, yeah. Can't go wrong. Nope. <laughs>
Wow, what a lovely, lovely evening. Those guys are fast becoming really, really good friends. Yeah, really And nice. it's gonna be sad when we do go back to the UK again to leave them, because we're really, really getting on well. Very like-minded, they're laid back, they're obviously content creators, and yeah, just really, really nice to hang out with. Easy going, super easy going. Conversation flows, and we all seem to have a good time together. I, I like, I understand Coda doing this, but why are you putting? But why are there any face? kids that get to do fun stuff like that? Yeah, that's very true. So anyway, gonna sign off again for today. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us here in Barakai, paradise on earth, kind of. What? Well, stickers on my face. Oh. Didn't get stickers on my face in El Nido. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the vlog, you know what to do. End of the vlog club in the comments. Gonna give you a little heart on your comment. Maybe give you a little reply as well. So a huge thanks once again. And we will hopefully see you in the next vlog very, very soon. Goodbye. Oh, Hope. Going somewhere. No, I mean, like, hopefully they watch, they enjoyed this vlog enough that they'll Bye. come back for the next vlog. Oh, oh no, we're definitely uploading another vlog after this one. I'm addicted again at this point. When we daily vlog like this, I get kind of addicted to it. Because I love it. Anyway, see you in the next one. Goodbye.